Hi guys and welcome back to Coil Life. Today we're going to be having a look at this little pod system here. This is the IQ OVS, um, a little 600 milliamp hour battery inside here. It's a very small little device, as you can see. Um, it is 44 mil across, 78 mil tall, and 10 mil thick. So it is a nice small little pod system. The, uh, the little quick draw little button on the top there is quite a cool little feature, it just pops up like that and then you've got your little LED light indicator in there. It is a nice little system. The um, pods in here, they're a 1.2 ohm coil in each pod and um, I was lucky enough that IQ sent me a pack of spare pods as well uh, but before I let you guys know any more let's drop down and have an up close and personal tour around the OVS okay guys so here we are with the IQ OVS and the box it comes in uh, I think this is German ish or something this is where it's come from um, to me, Vape Smart, Vape IQ, OVS there, IQ, and then oh, you've got a colour indicator sticker on there. On the back, then you can see your ECID and model numbers. You do have a 600 ma battery. So if we have a look on the inside, that's the yellow one that we've got. That's a nice tidy little size device, I think. Also in the box you get your little caution card to tell you to fully saturate the cotton with your desired e-liquid. Once the e-liquid is filled, replace rubber stopper and insert the pod with drip top. I think that's supposed to say drip tip facing upwards. Allow e-liquid to sit for one minute prior to use and they suggest to replace with a new cartridge after refilling three times. This was something I wasn't too sure about and I did email um, the the guys to, just to query it and uh, they did get back and say yes that they suggest they only use the same pod for three refills each which would mean that you only get six ml of use out of each pod which is a little bit of a disappointment in my opinion. Um, you get your <coughs> OVS user guide there in various different languages. You also get a little bottle to uh, refill the pods and this comes in very handy. I'll show you why in a moment. You get your micro USB charging cable and you get one pod. Uh, something that I have an ongoing issue with these companies uh, because they're only sending one pod with all these devices where you get two spare coils if you buy a sub own tank if you buy a kit that comes with a tank you get two coils so why don't they give you two pods especially if this is gonna only gonna last you three refills it's a little bit of a, a letdown in my opinion so have a look at the device it is a 600 milliamp hour battery on the back there you've got the OVS some CE markings on the bottom you do have your micro USB port it's uh, in two parts as you can see the the line there it is quite visible a um, little bit I, I don't like that personally you've got this little button on the top and that is where when you pop your pod in so your pod will slide in just like so and you press that then to release the drip tip and that's the mouthpiece there that you vape through um, I have found this not the most comfortable um, however um, I do like the idea of having it slot down to a nice tidy tidy little size and pop that up then getting these pods out it's really really stiff I think you've got to really see how hard that is so with a little bit of force these pods they will slide out but it is it's it's a nice nice little concealed design i think it really it's nice and compact 
um, to fill the pod you've got this little stopper here so if you pop that out then you fill that in there now your normal gorilla bottles unicorn bottles you're gonna have a little bit of issue because that needle nose that is quite small that's how much space you've got to fill not the easiest to fill these but you do get this bottle which is an, a, a plus in my opinion the pot itself 2 ml of liquid you'll get in there you can see at the bottom there you can see the cotton either side so that's where your coil is there so what we'll do is um, we'll get this filled up with some e-liquid so there we go we've got some e-liquid in our pod and then we just pop our pod in there and that's it it's uh, ready to vape you will it, it is a breath activated device as well um, this is your little LED indicator there to show you how much battery you've got left that will light up after every puff the coils as well I, they did send me a pack of coils so they come in two packs just like so uh, pricing for the device and the pack of coils so the device itself is currently going for $35.99 and the pack of two pods is $5.99 for the pack. So let's go back up on top and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay guys, so that was the quick up close and personal tour around the OVS from IQ. So um, there is a couple of things I do like about this and a couple of things I don't like about this. Um, the pros, it does have a well they say it's a quick charge technology in here it only takes 30 minutes to charge this thing fully it does also have pass through so you can vape on it while it's charging um, it's a nice design I, I love I love the way that just pops up what I don't like about it is the mouthpiece it's not the most ergonomic it's not the most comfortable and um, that for me is a big letdown on it um, although the, just the way it's compact and the sleekness of it I can see why they've done it just for me personally um, I, I don't think it's very very comfortable to vape on it's not the worst though I'd have to say refillable pods um, and they say it's got a quick release it's not the easiest to get those pods out they are secure they're not going to fall out that's one thing um, it is a 2 mil pod they recommend that you change the pod after the third refill which means that a pods only good for 6 mil of e-liquid that to me is not good uh, I mean I've only I mean you're not gonna you're not gonna burn through a lot of juice so you're not gonna you're not gonna be refilling this every five minutes because if you use your high nicotine uh, nick salts in there you're not gonna go through an awful lot of juice that's for sure however to say that a pod's only gonna last for six mil of e-liquid on their recommendation now I don't know if how many refills you'd actually get out of it and how long the coil would actually last that kind of starts getting a bit expensive in, in my opinion I, I know don't get me wrong the, the, the refills what six dollars for for a pack it's I suppose it's not that bad considering but I, I don't know where they get their uh, their mats how they work out their figures from to say a pod's only good for six mil uh, when other people are using pods I mean I've had pods in in other devices last me probably month month and a half 
uh, without having to change the pod and that's refilling it every day a couple of times a day maybe but I, I don't know we'll, we'll, time will tell I mean if if any of you guys have used one of these have got one let me know in the comments below what your opinion is um, I kind of I kind of like the device um, the the one thing for me as I said is that the mouthpiece is not the most comfortable flavor wise is not the worst um, with as far as pod systems go the flavor is not going to be outstanding but then again it's all about the nicotine fix so that being said it's not a bad little device So if you guys want to get your hands on one, I'll pop a couple of links in the description below as to where you can get your hands on one of these. I will also pop a link to the IQ website so you can check out any more information you want to get on these. Uh, but for me, that's all I've got time for. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button below and we'll catch you again soon.